Warning, the following may contain Naga. Join fantasy authors Phil Tucker, Tamandra Whitecastle, David Benham, Benedict Patrick, and Josiah Bancroft as they roll dice and take on the bad guys in a game of Dungeons and Dragons. Five authors, five worlds, one adventure. It's time to get crit-faced. Previously on Crit Faced, traveling west, making for the Wizard of Wine's winery, the party has come across a corpse that looks exactly like Master Sona. Unnerved by the dead body, the team presses on. <laughs> We're in desperate need of a winery. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Just to deal with all the weird stuff in here. Okay. Um, okay. So, are we, what are we doing? Do we know which way to go? Which way the winery is? Do we have a compass? Or? No. Oh, the smell of wine. It's west. It is west. Okay. That is what you've been told. Now, there's, there's okay. two western roads here, however, but the main one seems to be heading southwest. Uh, I'd say we go west. Yeah, if I've learned anything about vine, uh, vine reasons, they have very small roads to go to them. Like, you know, the vineyards don't have the big thoroughfares, they have the little, little lanes. Let's, let's go the small one. I, I, if we get really lost, I can just fly straight up and get the lay of the land. So I don't think we should sweat it too much. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, northwest or southwest? South? I think. Uh, was which the is the smaller way? one? Yeah, it was the smaller one to the north or the south? No, the, the one that seems to be the main road is heading southwest. Oh, the main uh, road is southwest. Has anyone ever okay. shown us a map that we could guess from memory? That was that other uh, encampment or town. I worry that's where the main road's going. I'd yes. say we go northwest. A... See? Mm-hmm. Northwest. And that, that's northwest. where the main road will be. Second. Did. Yes. I'm pretty confident nobody's actually checked any directions for the winery. No. I'm going to assume that crows will come set us straight if we're going the wrong way. Hmm. Magpies, you mean? Well, I, they're not listening. <laughs> <laughs> they're always listening. Have you learned nothing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, survival roll. I got a yeah. five, so I say northwest. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Northwest. Northwest. That's, yep. Okay. Um, so the uh, northwest. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't keep butting in. But did we ever get the signpost lined up? That no, might tell us. Yeah, they didn't attempt that. No. Can we uh, attempt it? Yeah, go for it. I mean, it's actually pretty straightforward. Uh, it's uh, as you said. It's not a clean break. It's pretty easy to see. And also, uh, one of the directions points the to Valaki. Um, so <laughs> you know which direction you come in. Actually, so there are uh, one of the the arm that points to Valaki actually says Valaki and Ravenloft. Um, hmm. that, that's the name of Strad's castle that uh, heads uh, the direction that you, you came in um, so the road that's heading off to the southeast, uh, kind of vaguely in the direction of where you thought the Vistani camp would be, it says Berez B-E-R-E-Z I believe you've never heard that name before mm-hmm. the uh, road that you are going to take off to the northwest, it says Lake Baratok uh, and the southwestern road, it's got two uh, names on it. It says Kresik and Solenka Pass. Solenka is spelled T S O L E N K A. Do these names mean more to our characters than they do to our players? No, you've heard uh, Kresik, Valaki. And that's, the, that's the Valaki camp. Valaki is the town. No, the Vistani camp. No, Kresik was a, another. City or that's, town? That's, or a, that's the other. There's three main settlements in the valley, and that's the last yeah. settlement um, to the west. But uh, you, you said the northwestern road um, leads to Lake Baratok. Baratok. B A R A T O K. Because we well, still have was... this prophecy about the, um, yes. about the wizard's tower or something. Yes. So. 
is the do we do we even know what his winery is? I'm sorry. I think I think it there was a, a knowledge of the ancient, an old man, white hair, uh, robes, the staff of the wizards, wizard's tower on a lake. Um, anything but a winery, I believe. Learn, at some the, point. Wi learn the wizard's name and. His servant will guide you, or something like that. Oh. I, I believe at one point you were told that the winery is south of Kresik. Well, then we're going the wrong way. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Let's go to Kresik. Sure. In that direction. Yes. Yeah. Can we? Like, can we? Can we run? Can you run? Yes, you're absolutely <laughs> yes. No, <laughs> um, so are so are we heading southwest? I suppose uh, so. Yes. Okay. Um, so uh, again, this was this was uh, afternoon, and afternoon um, you know turns. Uh, to later afternoon, it's starting to get darker out there. There is a um, the, the the road continues off to uh, the main road continues to the west. There is a small uh, southerly road that you meet maybe after another hour's travel. Um, there is um, there's not a signpost, uh, but there is like a marker stone set uh, at uh, where this path branches off, uh, and the marker stone just has a. a uh, it's got a carved face on it, uh, the face of uh, what seems to be a dragon. Hmm. The Order so, of the Silver Dragon? They predicted our arrival? It, I mean, it doesn't say that, but there is a dragon. It doesn't seem, it's not like a crude, you know, it does seem to be quite... Um, Kind of, if, if if you expected a dragon to be on a coat of arms, for example, this this would be the sort of stylized sort of dragon's head that you might imagine. I, I, so, can we all agree that like we 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 want to do the the the, the vineyard first, right? Like that's, yeah. that's okay. So if we if we get distracted, we're never going to get to the vineyard. No. So is the dragon leading us closer to the vineyard or away from it? I don't know. Well, the the vineyard, uh, the, so the winery is south of Kresik, and we're going direction Kresik right now. Right, southward. So we haven't passed Kresik yet, so this cannot be it. No. Nope. I say we, we say, interesting, and keep going. Agreed. But, yes. but the, the Silver Dragon Order, they they stood up to Strahd. There was something about that. I, you know, <clears throat> it could help us in our... our or fight against him. It can help us yeah. get our, our map come back. friends have already come through with the information about Irina. We owe it to them to do our part now that we don't have any more pressing obligations. If we show to them that we're so easily distracted and put aside their requests at the sight of a carved dragon head, then we will be forfeiting our goodwill and future help. I say I know. in a resolute direction. Yes. We go to the winery, we fulfill our obligations, and then we can take any new investigations as they come towards us. I know a good side quest when I see it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we have many of those coming. I, out. I, I say we put it to a vote. Everyone who wants to go to the dragon head, raise their arms, put it down, Kevin, put it down. It's, it's, <laughs> it's a foul, foul order. And everyone who wants to go south? Yep. Yes. Yep. All right. We, we proceed. Three to one. Sorry, Colin. Okay, so <laughs> we'll come back. We're continuing along the road away from the uh, the dragon's face. Um, okay, we what what's what happens now, guys, is that we're we're starting to uh, travel in now. It's getting we're 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 well within evening time now. Um, there's quite a lot of wee branches off the road here. Um, you get a wee uh, dirt path heading off to the north again, uh, but you can see that if you. Uh, 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 Kept traveling along the main road as well. There's another sort of larger path that heads off to the south. Um, again, there's no markings on these roads at all. Um, the main road just continues to head west. We do have to talk about like nighttime. Do you want to be? Can we? Can we reach Crescent before nightfall? Do we have your little hut? I, I don't like calling it my little hut, but yes, we do have my 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 magic Tiny. shelter. Tiny. Oh my god. What do you want to call it? Your petite chateau? 
Oh, I do like that. Yes, let's call it that. Okay. Yep. So I feel like we are at liberty to wander the wilds as long as we can summon your petite chateau. We're no longer... Will, I need a minute to pull it up, though. I mean, you know, just oh, so you know. Fine. That's fine. Yeah, okay. That's reasonable. okay. All right. Let, let's keep going, then. <clears throat> okay. So where are we... See the, the path, dirt path to the north? Larger path to the south? Are we doing anything with these guys? South. Okay, or, well, or you could continue the main road west. The main road's continuing west. Um, could uh, maybe no, it's it's dusk already. That is, <clears> yeah, it's, it's, and, it's the, and the visibility is pretty bad. It's getting there. I mean, you 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 reckon you could maybe travel for another hour before you're in pitch black. So why don't we do this? I'll fly we, up. Yes, to that up and use up all our get a long rest. Scope out the land, shoot off some exploratory fireballs, and then we can. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, 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 not to the fireboats. No more fire. All right. Let me just see where this little dirt road is heading. Um, yeah. So I, I if, if this is an opportune time, I will fly mm-hmm. up yep. and get the lay of the land from a uh, bird's eye view. Okay. So um, you fly up and um, guys, you realize that you lose sight uh, of Lord Talfron uh, as he disappears into um, you know these, um, the uh, the mists. Well, no. Okay. Well, what we'll say, Lord Talfin, we fly up actually uh, into the sky, and but the the land around you is cloaked in mist, uh, as you would expect. Now, to the south, there is south west, southeast. Sorry, of where you are, um, you can see it becomes a lot more rocky, uh, and there is a massive mountain. Uh, you would say um, the best part of two days travel. To the southeast um, off here. You can also see to the north, and we're talking about the same distance, um, it's a very mountainous area. Um, and, and basically, you, you get a, a, an idea of the fact that there, you know, this, this valley that you're traveling through, but uh, you cannot discern uh, from, from your height, you cannot discern any particular features of it because of the, I, I... the mists covering it. I fly back down and then repeat that verbatim to my companions. Hmm. So no dwelling. Ah. You'd see that like town. Light pollution will often cause cloud cover to light up. Was there any sort of resic styled illuminations? Like just nope. slightly brighter areas of fog? Nope, I'm afraid not. Yes, uh, we seem to be out in the middle of this foggy, blasted landscape, but no clear indications as to where to go. How about we camp and like hope for better weather like, in the morning? It, it, like, like, does it get like tedious flying? Or does it ever get boring? Like, it I, never I say boring. the next time you go up, you should, you should, you should take one of us with you. It never gets boring. It is a constant thrill, and it makes walking yes. and being down here in the land a form of ambulatory purgatory. I find that I miss it. I only did it the one time, but I feel like we should all be able to fly. Yeah. Just uh, In an ideal world, I would agree. And we could have many philosophical conversations about that. But unfortunately... At, at a winery? Unfortunately, we don't even know where that blasted winery is. How they do business, yeah. I could not begin to guess. If determined yeah. visitors can't even find it. That's a good point. Yeah. Let's, let's hut it up. Sorry, petite chateau it up. And hope yes. for better weather in the morning. Should we go off the road, or we should just do it right in the middle of the road where the carriage can, like... Off the road. Yeah. For, yeah. Knowing our luck, headless highwaymen would knock on the door off and Absol- cups of sugar. Absolutely. Okay. So <clears throat> we get off the road, we find a nice dry patch, and um, this looks lovely, and I perform my little... Sure. Uh, how, far, how far off the road are we going, Kate? Um, a, su- a sufficient amount? Yeah. <laughs> that was appropriate. Okay. Yes. Mm. <laughs> All right. And uh, everyone. So, so, gets, so yeah. we 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 go off the road and go into the woods, but uh, we can still see the road. Yes. Yes. Not so far that we see one of our own dead bodies. Yes. Right. Right. <laughs> and I, can, I can make the shell of the, the the chateau look any color I wish or any pattern, and so I will cast it as a sort of woodsy camouflage. Ah, okay. Nice. Okay. Brilliant. So, um, night settles. Are is anyone? Is I'll anyone? I'll take first watch. Okay. We're still going for the watches. Is anyone going to be following up on that? I, I mean, I'll I feel bad for. Yeah, sure. I. Get it. <laughs> 
Right. We uh, don't trust you, Joe. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Kellen, would you would you like to take a, a perception check, please, for your two hours of watch? Uh, twelve. Okay. Um, so no, you um, aren't really aware. I mean, you can see through the the, um, the hut, basically the dome, is it? Chateau. The, the chateau. Um, <laughs> you know, you're aware. I mean, you, you do catch a fox at one point. Is particularly curious. Comes up and gives a little sniff. It doesn't seem to be too interested and and scarpers off. Other than that, there's no particular um, uh, nothing noticeable happens. Um, you're gonna give. Is it Jean next? Are you gonna give Jean a wee kick? Not just a wee kick. <laughs> sir, sir, you you realize I, I got tied to a stake and lied about you. <laughs> For you. <laughs> and just nice little nudge on the shoulder is sufficient. With shoulder. Stabbed. I was Listen. stabbed. I'll, I'll, I'll poke the wounded shoulder. No, oh, not no. that shoulder. God. Um, Jean, would you like to take a... 17. 17. Again, you're not aware of it. I mean, you're pretty confident anyway that even if there was something of interest, they couldn't get past your magical defenses. Nothing happens. Uh, you get two hours, go past. You know, we're sort of dead of night situation here. Is somebody else going to take over? No. <laughs> I, I will. Okay. Uh, Master Sada, uh, do you want to take your perception check? Perception is 11. Okay. Um, you're first aware um, of uh, something happening when you can hear, uh, you can make out the sound of footsteps um, marching along the road, uh, not far mm -hmm. from the hut. Um, from what you can gather, it seems to be a single person walking along. Are you going to do anything? Like, is there a window? <laughs> like, yeah, you can or? Sorry. You can see it's a completely transparent, and you can leave it if you want to. I just don't think you can come back. Yeah, I'd advise you not to go out into Ravenloft by yourself. Yeah, that's uh, especially not by night. And, and without waking uh, the rest of us up. <laughs> right. But so, like, um, but I can't see anything. No, you can't see anything at the moment. I mean, it's it's, it's dark outside. It's, it's nighttime. Yeah, so, yeah, it's nighttime. You, you don't have um, any light source. Um, and they don't have any light source. Don't seem to. Mm. So uh, I wake Jean because it's his illusion thingy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'm hearing footsteps. Uh, Where are they coming from? From the road. Someone is walking down the road. Yes. You woke me up because someone is walking down the road. <laughs> yes, but they. I'm going. I'm down going back to. What, what, what? Okay, so let's look at this gate together. That I mean, it is a strange how, gate. How safe are we in here? Very, very, very safe. I, I, this song is a is a top forty hit. <laughs> Excellent. I don't know what you're talking about, but it's. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yes, it's a different world, a better world. <laughs> Go back to, I'm going back to sleep. You stay awake. Good night. Okay. okay. Um, Master Sana, you are aware the footsteps. Um, you know, get closer along the road as you would expect them to. Um, however, when the footsteps get um, basically to where you guys left the road, they stop. Okay, you're vaguely aware of movement through the the sort of smattering of trees, but you, you can't exactly see what's happening out there. You do hear a bit of rustling, um, a bit of a thump, uh, and then that's it. Okay, that's great. So nothing bad's happened. No, but the footsteps have not continued. So, hmm. Ah. Hmm. Uh. Can we just wait until morning? I mean, I can like stand ready at the watch, and, could, and if someone's could, still mean, outside, then we can you still kill have, him then. There still are about three hours. I mean, technically, somebody else is due a shift uh, in a moment. If you're still wanting to get your your rest, no. Yeah, I'll go wait, Lord Talfrin. <laughs> Lord Talfrin, I go right back to sleep as soon as she falls asleep. <laughs> The whole no, point is, of an invulnerable hut is that you don't need a watch. That's right? what I keep telling people, but they don't believe it. Right. So as soon as she wakes up, like, oh, okay, thank, thank you, thank you. Yes, I'll, I'll make some coffee. Sleep well. Good. You're in safe hands. As soon as I see her lie down, <laughs> right back in my warm spot, curl up, back to sleep. But There's you must admit that she, she did, 
she did see something, which uh, never mind, we'll talk about in the morning. Good night. Yes. Okay, so uh, have you? I mean, have you told Lord Talfin that there's somebody there? You probably should have told him that it's like a watch, like sort of trade off. You like, uh, you know, yeah. here's what I saw. I'm sure you did. Yes, I did. Uh, Lord Talfin. Okay. You still, yes, you still good. I think I've made my intentions clear. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so uh, wait, 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 wait. She tells you that somebody like sat, went thump with something, and then stood there, and there was rustle, 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 and your response was, "Seems fine." <laughs> this is an invulnerable hut. Well, yeah, but you don't want to like wake up in the morning and Invulnerable Hut's gone, and there's like five goblins well, standing around. We're going to we're going to wake up before the hut disappears, right? Like, that, gonna, okay, all right, okay. It's not the alarm clock. The hut is gone, and we all scramble to get out of our PJs. <laughs> okay, you know, all right, but, all right. So as long as there's like you know 15 minutes of readiness before the hut disappears, that's and you fine. can you can parse out what's happened over the evening. Like maybe there's a trebuchet over there. Maybe there's a, a lion over there. Okay, yeah, well, you know, honestly. No matter what I detect now, I'll still be able to detect it probably in the morning. Okay, and okay. I, hut. Do I hear any of this? No, <laughs> I don't. I don't argue with myself. Or am I snoring? No, you're snoring. No, I, you're asleep. I, I reassure. I reassure Master Sana. I tap her on the shoulder. Say, "Good job. Excellent work." As soon as she's snoring loud enough that no one else can hear my movements, I lie down and I also join her. In, the last of my weeks. Okay. Um, let us say that 15 minutes before the hut uh, dissipates, um, yep. you guys wake up. <coughs> it is uh, morning. Dawn uh, has broken. I do notice that uh, Lord Taffron seems to be asleep. And yes, I slept the... well. This petite chateau is proving invaluable. Wait, wait you, you, had, you had a watch, did you not? I did. And and you slept through it? Ah, oh, very deeply. I had pleasant dreams of home. All right. Uh, well, did anything happen over the course of the evening? Anyone? Uh, yes. Uh, I oh. woke you, Jean. There was yes. a, a strange noise. Mm -hmm. uh, I think maybe someone's still outside. Well, let's take a look. Oh, ah! Okay, well, uh, all right. I think you that means we literally hunt. direct our, our line of sight out of the hut, away from each other, to see... If we can see anything outside the hut. Okay, okay. we'll do that. Like right now, so, I mean, it's uh, certainly your visibility is considerably better than uh, last time. You look out at the road uh, to where Master Sana had last reckoned the, the noise was and where she last saw movement. And you can't, uh, you can't see anything. Now, it's quite dense foliage there. There's at least one large oak tree in the way, um, but you cannot see anything on the road. And you didn't see him leave. You, you you didn't see him walk away. No, he, something thumped against the, this hut, and uh, maybe remained here. Well, I think we should ha send one person out of the impregnable like uh, chateau for just a quick look. Yeah. Who should that be? Well, I'm not very stealthy, so I don't think it should be me. Yes, but you are very sleepy. <laughs> Which does not make me very perceptive either. No, but it's your punishment for falling asleep on the watch, sir. Come on, it's a sacred trust. Like I, I can imagine how society can exist. Well, you shouldn't have emphasized the invulnerability of our hut if you wanted well, to, be, to be alert. I'm a I, I can go. I, things have always gone well when I've gone out alone. Okay. Very true. Okay, I, I, I will go. I will go. Okay, I, I will turn invisible and I will go. We're, Stay we're, here. We're really rocking these invisibility spells, aren't we? <laughs> yes, we are. This is the only thing I have going for me. We're leaning strongly into the net. Okay. So what's your Light. plan, Jean? I'm going to turn invisible yes. and say, stay here. No, I'm going to say stay here and then turn invisible. And I'm going to go to where the thumping was last thumped. Okay. So um, would you like to take a stealth check, please, with advantage? Okay. Not that one. <laughs> okay. Stop. Sixteen. Sixteen. So you uh, creep out from within your hut. Um, you sort of take out a wide berth of the the tree that that might be hiding a figure. And um, as you, you you move around trying to get a better peek, you do see a large backpack uh, set on the ground. Mm. Treasure. Mm. 
Treasure. This is treasure. I can. I can. I can do a little soft investigations to make sure it's not like a booby trap or whatever. Like a little, yeah. you know. So, so we're still we're still quite a distance away from the backpack. You could sort of creep oh. a wee bit further to get a, yeah. a, a just in case there's something else hiding there. Um, yes. So as you you sort of inch around, trying to get a better view around the the tree, uh, you see a pair of uh, feet um, mm. sticking out uh, from. Um, well, basically, just sort of emerging into your point of view. Certainly, the the owner of the feet must be lying up against the tree, facing the path. Uh, these feet, um, they're not exactly model feet, Jean. Um, mm. From what you can tell, the toenail are, are particularly yellow. The skin is, uh, although alive, which is nice in comparison with the last uh, pair of feet that you saw, uh, pretty uh, pale and wrinkly. Okay, well, that's a um, personal grooming um, <laughs> deficit. I, 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 um, I get, skirt, skirt this person to see, are they awake? Do a little, uh, green pe- leaves, green teeth. Okay. Uh, oh, so you, uh, you inch your head round uh, a wee bit longer uh, and you see um, uh, a pleasantly horrific face uh, turn uh. round just as Jenny uh, opens her eyes because it is indeed Granny T- Jenny. Ah, I knew it! And uh, even though you are invisible, uh, she looks at you with sleepy eyes, gives you a nice smile, and she says, Hello there, my darling. How did you sleep last night? Um, and I think uh, we, we will uh, maybe leave it there for this. Uh, uh, <sighs> Crit Faced is a weekly Dungeons & Dragons podcast. To make sure you never miss an episode, and to get an exclusive prequel episode of the podcast, where you can find out what our characters were up to before this adventure began, head over to CritFacedPodcasts.com and join our Crit Faced fan group.